Disclaimer, my content is intended for adult collectors of the product. It is not made for kids. General intended audience is at least 14 plus. It's time to unbox the protagonist bay for Beyblade X. Three, two, one, let it play! Yo, what's up, bladers? Welcome back to another Beyblade X unboxing video. Last time we unboxed the BX01 Drawn Sword 360 flat. But today we got the right rotating balance type BX02 Hell Scythe 460T. In the front we have an image of Hell Scythe knocking out Drawn Sword. Pretty cool. Front profile on the bay on this little corner here with the launcher. And on the side we have advertisements for the Beyblade X app. Once again, it's only available in Japan. So if you want to use it, you need a Japanese Apple account. On the top of the back, we have the owner of the bay in the anime and the manga. This is Bird Kazumi or Kazumi Bird. So far, Bird is a very weak blader, a complete amateur. In fact, he originally owned a bay called Strike Eagle that ended up getting destroyed during a battle, which led to his team abandoning him. Abandoning him. But he did eventually meet Common X or X Kurosu, who they are now forming a team. And in Chapter 2 of the manga, he ends up meeting Multi Nanaro, Nanario, who ends up giving him Hell's Scythe. As for the parts itself, we have the Hell Scythe Blade, the 460 Ratchet, and the Tapered Bit. I didn't show this off last time, but here's a little bit of an instruction booklet for Beyblade X. This piece here shows you that Beyblade X is not compatible with previous generations, so in this case, Beyblade Burst Ultimate or Beyblade BU. It also gives you explanations on how to actually assemble the Ratchet onto the bay. For example, here is highlighting the L and the R, and when you assemble the Ratchet onto Hell's Scythe, since it's a right rotating Beyblade, you need the arrow from the Ratchet to align with the R. And of course, to fully assemble the Bay, once the Ratchet is attached to the blade, you need to insert the bit inside. This little sheet here is called the Skill Up Guide, level 1. It shows off the Extreme Dash, how to launch your Bay, and it gives advertisements of the String Launcher which you can get currently by buying the BX07 Start Dash set, which was my first unboxing for Beyblade X. Level 2 is a random combo. We have Drawn Sword, 380, and Tapered, a balance type. And level 3, once again, advertisement for the Beyblade X app, along with the Bay Battle Pass, which you need to connect to the app in order to get the most out of it. And through the app, you have a chance to get the rare Bay, Cobalt Drake. We also have advertisements, or... A preview of the next release which is coming August 10th and it's Knight Lance, a right rotating defense type that's supposed to be good for counter defense. Here is the Beyblade X Winder Launcher. This is where you insert your uh, winder or ripcord. And these launchers are fairly powerful having seven and a half rotations in total and it's actually comfortable to hold even without a launcher grip. Let's move on to the Beyblade, Hell's Scythe. Here is the Hell's Scythe Blade. As you can see, it features a flaming skull with devil horns on the top. And the overall design reminds me a lot of the original Doom Sizer D1 or single layer Death Scyther from the first generation. Featuring four major points that are smooth on the sides, but have a little gap in between the front of it to deliver a strong hit. And if we look at the side profile, we can see that the blade does slope downwards and because of that, Hell Scythe is stated to be good at smash attack. The ratchet is 460. So the height 60 means this part is 6 millimeters tall, making Hell Scythe pretty short, just like Drawn Sword. But this time it features four sides instead of three, which might make it more prone to bursting since there's more points for, it to, for another bay to hit in order to unlock the ratchet in battle. Next up, and last but not least, is the bit tapered. So this bit features a semi-flat performance tip. As you can see, unlike the original flat, which was just straight, this bit kind of curves in slightly and then becomes flat near the edge. So it has a very has a smaller surface area, which makes it slightly less aggressive, but easier to control and has a little bit of extra stamina. It still features a recession in the middle, so it's kind of like a semi-hole semi -hole flat, if anything. Just like the original flat bit though, this also features an extra piece of plastic on its stem, which helps it hold tighter onto the ratchet to increase the base burst resistance. 
Now we're going to weigh the parts, starting with the blade. 33 grams. The ratchet, 460. 6.4, and the bit, tapered. 2.3. The full combo is 61.5, if we compare that to drawn sword. It's hard to see, but it says 43.3, so Hell Scythe is slightly lighter. All right, let's get into a test spin and a test battle with the first two Beyblade X tops. Test launch with Hell Scythe, 460 tapered. Three, two, one, go, shoot! As you can see, Hell Scythe is pretty darn fast around the stadium, but right now it's calming down. All right, let's get into test battles against Drawn Sword. First to four points is your winner. All right, first battle. Three, two, one, go, shoot! Whoa! Hell's Scythe wins the first round with a near instantaneous burst finish, getting two points. Second battle. Three, two, one, go, shoot! Hell's Scythe tried to take advantage of the extreme line but missed, and Drawn Sword continues to counterattack. Powerful uppercut from Drawn Sword, and it takes the battle with a spin finish, getting one point. Third battle. Three, two, one, go shoot! Oh, man! This time, Drawn Sword is the one that takes the victory with a burst finish, getting two more points. Three, two, one, go shoot! Powerful hit from Drawn Sword. Hell Sykes counters with extreme dash, but it seems to take a lot of damage, and it's losing stamina rapidly. And with another spin finish, Drawn Sword gets a total of four points, making it your victor for this test battle. But I hope y'all enjoyed this unboxing of Hell Scythe 460 tapered. Next up is Wizard Arrow. 480 ball. See y'all then. Looks like you made it to the end of the video. Don't forget to leave a like, make a comment, and consider subscribing to my channel. And if you do, hit that notification bell to get notified when I upload new videos. Thanks for watching.